Today we're going to talk about Chapter 14 in the ICD-10 CM Code Book. These are the Diseases of the Genital Urinary System, the 2017 Guidelines. The first guideline has to do with stages of chronic kidney disease. You will often see this abbreviated as CKD. Our scenario says stage 5, chronic kidney disease with ESRD, which is end-stage renal disease, requiring chronic dialysis. Even though our scenario says stage 5, the fact that it also states end-stage renal disease, we're going to code only the end-stage renal disease, which is in 18.6. And our guidelines tell us to do that. I have it here in a purple font on the right that you can see the guideline I'm going by. Our index pathways given there, where I've shown you, yes, there are two different codes for stage 5 and the end-stage renal disease, but we do not code the stage 5. We only code the end-stage renal disease. We want to pick up on the status dialysis, which the guidelines tell us when to pick up on these status codes. Sometimes they don't. So I would make a note there. If you are in your code book and you're looking at stage 5 or end-stage renal disease, if you have documentation that states the patient is on dialysis, you will need to add the Z99.2 code. The next guideline has to do with chronic kidney disease and a kidney transplant. You can get kidney, uh, chronic kidney disease with a transplanted kidney. The example we're given here is a patient has residual CKD stage 1 after a kidney transplant. And our guidelines tell us that we would assign the appropriate N18 code, which in this case stage 1 is N18.1, as well as the Z94.0 kidney transplant status. Both of those things would be included. And when you have chronic kidney disease with other conditions, for example diabetes, it's not uncommon to see those together. The scenario given is a type 1 diabetic chronic kidney disease stage 2 and we would code the diabetes first and then the chronic kidney disease second. And the sequencing of the code, it tells us, in relationship to codes for other conditions is based on the conventions in the tabular. And the tabular tells us that diabetes code would be first with that instructional note that says use additional code to identify the stage of the chronic kidney disease. Many times the guidelines will tell us how to sequence our codes. Any questions about the Chapter 14 coding guidelines, please post them in the discussion board. It's pretty straightforward, but there may be some questions that come up. Also be sure that you look at the instructional notes at the beginning. I did not go over them at the beginning of this chapter. There are several excludes two conditions listed, and you recall excludes two means you could have any of these kidney or, or renal conditions as well as those things in that list, excludes two lists. Be sure and look at that from time to time to be certain, be certain that you're remembering what the excludes one and excludes two notes are for any given chapter. Thank you so much and have a good day.